or Scotland could well pounce. They're looking very physical. They're looking very composed. They're looking very patient. Schumann is coming on his shoulder. Schumann goes. Can he stretch and get there? Pierre Schumann. The monsters were munching their way close to that Wales line. All at the back by Finn Russell to Kyle Rowe, and that pierced the Welsh defence. Cummings gets through the gain line. Thunderous strength from the second row forward to Pelotto. Russell! Russell must be! Try scoring pass! It's a beautiful one, it's a simple one, and it's Duhan van der Merwe who scores. Creativity, just incredible movement here. There's the show and go, and then from there he's in behind. It's big smile, broad smile on the skipper's face to match that of try scorer van der Merwe. But it's gorgeous stuff. Scotland are winning almost every collision, and that's the physicality that is giving them the upper hand in this game. Wales can't match it either side of the ball. And Scotland are unleashing on Wales. Blue cling film, ratting his rock-like physique. Inside. Clearance by Williamson. Taken by Kyle Stain. Finn Russell, what a break, what an offload. Duhan van der Marva with one of those slatting runs. Boom, boom from Duhan van der Marva. But Finn again, look at Finn Russell here. Gets the ball, looks up, he sees the opportunity. Offload, and then from there, game over. Like a relentless force of nature, ends up leaving Tomas Williams grasping at thin air, but Finn Russell take a bow, he creates the space, no second invite needed, tucked under, a meaty right arm, and Duhan drives a knife into the chest of Wales, a killer blow at the start of the second half. Seven tries last year in a Scotland jersey, and continuing on that form in 20. Here's Ben White, now Finn Russell. Sione to a below two. Duhan van der Merwe. Harry Patterson has a board outside. Looks inside. Brilliant, brilliant, sensational. Top class, top drawer. Diamond stunning rugby from Scotland. It is a world class try. That man there, Harry Patterson. What a moment. Steps forward, goes for the line, gets his right arm free, and from there. Putin, that's whereby let's let's see if they actually get away. I think they've maybe had a free kick for for the early push from England. It will get away for White. Tui Pilotti, first receiver and finds an immediate hole for Hugh Jones. And Jones is getting on his bike. Tackled over the top, but manages to keep the ball alive. Duan van der Merwe so often the destroyer of English hearts. But it all comes in the midfield. Tui Pilotti, little short ball to Jones. The shooter out the line, Slade picks the wrong man. There's the ball off the ground, Duan van der Merwe from Hugh Jones throws the dummy lightning ball amidst the fray. Through he goes, Scotland responds. Scotland's first foray into England's 22. And it brings about five points. Hugh Jones was in acres of space. Simple working of the two centres. Scotland players trying to bowl as many England shirts out of the way. Ford. Oh, and it's come off oh, back oh, again. We are just seeing the handling errors. So but now right. Van der Merwe given a chance on the outside. Slade can't get hold of him. And it's Duan Van der Merwe. Can you believe it? He's in at the corner for another one against England. And the Scottish fans are punching the air at Murrayfield. Well, hitting the line. Here's the pass. Ford. Hits off the head of Furbank, good hands by Jones, and then he just sees, I think it's Earl in front of him, holding the white channel, and he just thinks, one-on-one, -on -one, give me a chance. Slade does his best to get back and make the desperate tackle, but Duhan van der Merwe, the pace, the power, the class and the gas, finishes it off. Scotland turnover, one-pass try, and they have a lead that you could struggle to justify at this stage, but... <laughs> There's not a Scottish fan in this group. George Ford did just enough to stay in that. Now Scotland have got room on the outside. Van der Merwe, oh. the kick. Oh, it's 
sublime from Scotland. It's into Finn Russell's hands super quickly and the kick pass. It is perfection. The brush strokes on the canvas, Finn Russell. Big tackle on oh Schumann. Okay, there was a wrap there. Was it Negri? We'll confirm that in just a moment. It wasn't, it was Nishatera. Round the corner, Scotland go again, and over the line, Scotland go! And then from there, look at the body angle from Xander Fagerson. On the angle and set Scotland up once more. Horn again, Schumann's been involved in absolutely everything that Scotland have done. Yeah, advantage. Finn Russell always offside. is. Italy offside. They're You've changing shadows a little offside. at the moment. This is really good from Scotland. Are they going to get the reward? Yes, they are! Kyle Stain over. Cannot do enough to stop him. The big winger drives over. Then they've turned the corner, has this Scottish mall. We haven't seen that much muscle on show from either side. Yes, there was the Fagerson try, but that after 18 phases of action. Now they're going to try and grind it out. And they do grind it out. Schumann was able to keep a hold of that ball. None of the Italians could get near it. Ashman comes. Lucchese holds him up, but only just. Scotland threatening. Ball's available. Onside, onside. Two and a half minutes left in this game. It has to be now from Scotland. It is now from Scotland. They have the try. And this game is going to go to the wire. Back up to halfway. But they've got a chance. They know that they will have the opportunity to try and push for... Even one point could prove crucial, Ryle. Away and gone! Away and gone! Hugh Jones! Under the post! Well, well! Stunned silence in the Aviva Stadium. Robbie Henshaw, Van der Fleer, Doris, even Lowe had an opportunity. Jones fooled them all. we do on every restart, okay? Wow. I know. What a moment, Hugh Jones. He's played well here. In recent history, he's shown up one on one. Manu a Manu steps away from Henshaw, gets away from a flailing Baird, and dots down under the post. Scotland have one final roll at the dice.